my and my friend like went to Miami for spring break, came yeah. back pregnant, and don't know my who the fathers like. are. Says these women took a spring break trip to Miami and all came back pregnant, not knowing any other fathers. <laughs> Why this doesn't surprise me. Uh, when I want to say Shalom. I want to give all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shai by Shemra Kakodash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutation to the hopeful elect. And it was in the gospel of God, lifting up the standard of Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Um, this is why you don't let your woman have friends, okay? This is why you don't let your woman have friends, period. I mean, as, as, as oppressive as that may sound, which is actually not oppressive at all, but this is the reason why you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't allow your women to, to run rampant. This is the result of feminism, uh, bad parenting, the men being taken out of the house and a bunch of men that has been simplified, man. Because these one, two, three, four, five women, I mean, clearly they're out of order there. They're, they're completely out of control And this is the majority of our women When you look at them like this and you let them go Eventually you will see that it will succumb to this And these be the same women talking about They can't find a good man They don't want nobody to want to marry them Nobody wants to have children with them These be the same men that they would get with a man That's trying to teach them upright And teach them the right things But they just totally scoff at it Are you too controlling? You too jealous. You don't want me to do anything. You don't want me to have friends. You don't want me to do anything. You just want me to do X, Y, and Z. You don't want me to go to the club or the lounges or the bars. But this is the result of it. And it never fails. Because let's just say out of this group of this pack of hyenas right here. Let's just say one out of the group is somewhat upright. How long do you think it's going to take before the others influence the one? And even if the one is somewhat upright. She may be the worst one of the whole group because she's the one that keeps our shit on the low. That's the one you got to worry about the most, the one that appears to be the good one. Because you don't know what type of secret relationship she's having with men, texting men. You don't know. But this is what happens when you allow women to have their way and you allow them to guide abroad. This is the reason why we say what we say about our women. Okay, and you brothers out there that may have wives, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know this. The, the, the ins and outs of situations with brothers Because it's not my business Certain brothers may have wives like this And they just don't really give a fuck about it Ain't like you know what we in Babylon so be it I'm not going to give my energy Sometimes it's more cheaper to keep her I guess Me I don't I, I'm not going for this shit You know what I'm saying that, that That's disrespectful because they don't know who their fathers are Now they're going to get on Twitter They're going to get on Facebook Instagram They're going to put a bunch of Man, you know, these niggas ain't shit, but wait a minute. You you opened up the door for that. You exposing your bodies, your, your wild, you have no covering, okay? You make our nation look bad, and they say to determine the state of a nation, look at the women. These are, this, these are our women. These are your beloved sisters, man. This is the options we have to fucking choose from. You know, they say, well, men don't want wives. Look at this. This is the only option we have, and the ones that's somewhat right, they're still like this. They still don't want to compromise because the ones that somewhat trying to be right, them the main ones that want to put niggas in slavery. You know, they want to want to control you. They want to want you to eat the food out their hand. They don't want you to live. They want to put shit on they on, on their terms. They want the relationship to be based on their terms, their emotions. I mean, they put too much in a man's lap, man. And they wonder why men are just checking out of this shit. And this is what we're talking about. This is what the scriptures is talking about. Men are checking out on women because this is the options we have to choose from. This ain't nothing to take home to your fucking family and brag about. This is something to get your nut off and keep it pushing. Yeah, they will get fucked by men because men, ultimately men are visual creatures. Men will go into them. Clearly they did. Okay, because the attire they have on, they have the attire of a harlot. When you see this, 
first thing you're going to think is like, okay, I want to have sex with that because men are visual creatures and they put it out there. But this ain't nothing that uh, me personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wipe this up. I despise women like this. I despise them, you know, and I sit back and I observe and I just look like, okay. But we're the bad guys for calling this stuff out. No, man, y'all don't give us no options. Y'all don't give us probable options and the options that you do give us is still coming along a feminist mindset. So what the fuck are we supposed to do? Sit back and accept you for what you are, but yet you get to dictate the pace of the relationship. You get to dictate how you feel. You get to put shit on your terms. No, no, it don't work that way. This ain't fucking 1989. This ain't this ain't the the, the height of the feminist movement. Men are getting their shit back and they're like, fuck this shit. We can do without. Because it's not hard to not deal with women, brothers. It's not it's not a necessity, you know. Shit, you know, I I, I get gratification. By just being around brothers, man, you know, and just just being by myself, this this is this is uncalled for. You don't know who the father is. This is ridiculous, man. It says this new generation is lost. Fatherless activities, fatherless activity. Of course, of course, they blame the father. They gonna blame the man on everything. But what about the mother? You see, what about the mother? The mother solidifies this. She didn't tell, oh, well, baby, you know, uh, go go find you a husband, a righteous man that's gonna tell you to stay out the streets. No. Find you a man that got money. Find a man that's going to let you run the streets and do what you want to do. That's a man that's in tune with his masculinity and security. Any man that don't let you go out and be who you want to be, baby, is an insecure man. And I felt, I, I beg to differ. I think that's the polar opposite. Because any man that loves his wife would not let her run around like that. Because that's a reflection of him. Okay. Um. So anyway. And it's black women, man. You know, it's, it's black women and you got this shit to blame the Kardashians, the reality shows, feminism, Esau. And and all these women, they just sit around and bash men all day, how men ain't shit. But they would never reflect on themselves and put the mirror to themselves and say, you know what? We're hoes, we're sluts. I see why our men don't take us serious. I see why they don't want to marry us. Look at the friends we're attracting to. Look at the activities we're engaging in. And then some of you have the potential of being right. But you put yourself in the midst of stuff like this. You shoot yourself out of even having a chance with a man that want to be with you. Because you don't think. You blame everybody else for your behavior. It's everybody else's fault. When are you going to start taking accountability for what the fuck you do? When men start checking out and mind going elsewhere. Why can't you've been the why can't you've been the fault of that? Why can't you've pushed the man to the point he don't want to check in with you no more? Out of all the trying and trying to get you in order and you still are ungrateful. And then this man, like, you know what, man? I, I just I can't deal with it no more. I need some space. I, I you know, I, I need different. Why is that the man's fault? Because because he wouldn't pull up with your bullshit. But you get to leave anytime you feeling mad or insecure. Five minutes of, of you being pissed off, you destroy the whole relationship. And I guarantee you all them women got men and they going to go back and say, you know what? You got me pregnant. I was pregnant before I went to Miami. But for one thing, if your woman go to Miami <laughs> outside of your consent, then she's not your woman. I don't give a fuck what excuse she made. Woman of mine go to Miami. She need to stay there. Go to Vegas. You need to stay there. Period. I'm not we're not dealing with this shit, man. This is this is getting out of hand. OK, um. So duh, 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 duh. let's go to um, This is the book of Deuteronomy 22 And I'm going to start at verses uh, This whole chapter is good This goes into uh, I think lay hold Yep this whole chapter is pretty good But let's start at uh, I'm going to find a, a place to start at this is the book of Deuteronomy 22 and 17 because you have to understand a family is a is a investment. OK, it's a hard it's, it's a long term investment. When you take a woman to yourself, that is an investment. And over the course of time, you observe and you peep and see, if, OK, would I be able to, to make a future, build something with this woman? If you see the mindset that a person is in. And they're not willing to break the mindset, but they want to make excuses. Then obviously, you know, that's a bad investment. They say marriage on this side is a bad investment. Children on this side is a bad investment because, I mean, you're dealing with a bunch of people that is that, that there's no re repercussions for actions. 
It's just pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Like the scriptures say, she that living in pleasure is dead while she living. That's a bad investment here. Marriage is a terrible investment in America. That's why men are going to Brazil. Men are going to the Dominican Republic. Men are going to Morocco. Men are going to uh, the Philistines. They're going to Thailand because these women are not Americanized. And that's one thing you women don't understand here. You think because you have the liberty to do what you want, your mindset is accepted. Your mindset is looked down upon the planet Earth. Your mindset is what's causing wars among Arab nations to a degree. Okay, Iranian nations. You see what I'm saying? That's not cool. You think it's your men? That's the problem. If your men is walking away from you in mass numbers, maybe it's time to start reflecting on yourself. Maybe it's time to sit back and think, damn, why does he hate me? Why does he hate me? Did I really listen to what he said? Am I taking into consideration what he said? Am I too aggressive? Am I too combative? Am I too forceful? Am I trying to push shit at my pace? Am I not trying to wait on him? Am I trying to overly uh, put things in his lap, not being patient because I'm in urgent need for my life to be saved? What about his feelings? What about what he wants? What about how he view you as a woman? None of those thoughts are never talked about. So it's, it's a bad investment. So this is the book of uh, Deuteronomy 22. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 15. It says, Then shall the father of the damsel and her mother take and bring forth the tokens of the damsel's virginity unto the elders of the city and the gate. It was very important to have a, vir a virgin in the ancient world, okay? Because when you have a virgin, you can mold them. This mindset, you can meet a virgin in America, but she's still going to have a whore mindset. You have a virgin and she'll still go find another man because she has the liberty to do so. She has this freedom to social media. She has this freedom to careers. She has this freedom to other women that think like she thinks. So that's a huge dynamic right there. Okay, and, and you as a man and individual, that's a mind. You, you can't combat that. It's too many forces up against your particular mind. It's, it's impossible to win a fight like that. So what you what you gonna do? You gonna sit back and deal with it, or you just gonna be like fuck it? I I take my chances on my own. You know. Uh and it says, uh, and a damsel's father should say to the elders, "I gave my daughter to this man to wife, and he hated her," which shows you that. A daughter was a transfer of ownership She was the property of the father And now she's property of the husband A lot of you don't understand that you are property of your men See, you, when you think of property You think of just like a plaything And well, you are your man's plaything But not in a bad way You know, he's supposed to have his way with you Okay, a man do, don't just abuse or, or kick his property down Man, I don't just deliberately go I take very care of my property Like my shit in my home My possessions and stuff My vehicle, my car, you know my possessions, my, my shit that I own I take good care of that stuff Why not your woman? Okay, but see you women, you don't understand You think that you're not your property of your men That means that whatever he see fit You're supposed to follow that dynamic But you rather be property of America United States of Babylon Okay, you rather be property of the white man Okay But it says, a father should say unto the elders I gave my daughter unto this man to wife And he hated her And lo, he given occasion of speech against her Saying, I found not thy daughter a maid, yet these are the tokens of my daughter's virginity, and they should spread the cloth before the elders of the city. That's basically if he suspected her to being a whore and she's playing the field, but they presented the tokens of our virginity. Okay, in that case, it gets rectified. You're like, well, I mean, she didn't commit adultery. This when you met her, she was pure. Now she could have committed adultery down the line, but when you met her, she was a virgin. So it ain't really nothing you can say about this woman at that time. She was a virgin when you popped her. It ain't like she went to put some ketchup down. I don't think they had ketchup then, <laughs> you know. But it says, and the elders of that city should take that man and chastise him. And they should immense him in a hundred shekels of silver and give unto the father of Damsu because he bought upon the evil name upon the virgin of Israel. And she should be his wife and he may not put her away his day. So basically he had a debt to pay for slandering her if she was a virgin when he met her, but he didn't see so. You see what I'm saying? It says, but if this thing be true and the tokens of the virginity be found not for the damsels, then they should bring out the damsel, which it just goes into a young woman, to the door of the father's house and the men of the city should stone her with stones that she die. You see, she dies instantly. The men, he gets fine, but the woman dies because that shows you that women was a lesser class of citizen then. Not meaning that it was less important, but women at that time, they didn't have a say so because they knew the nature of women was to be wicked. Okay, and you have to literally put them in order. Because if you don't put them in order, then you find women in bars and clubs with a bunch of niggas 
with a bunch of other women that's walking around here mad feminist bashing men you find that if you don't put them in order and when you put them in order are you too controlling well what the fuck am i supposed to do i don't want you being out here like them but oftentimes they want to be out here like them it's 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 a, it's a fucking mind game you know they don't want you to love them but then when you don't love them they say you don't love me it's 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 fucking mind fuckery bro it's 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 a it's a sick twisted game the the dynamic between men and women and this is why those women got pregnant in miami and don't know who the father are you know sleeping around that's why this place got to be destroyed and it's our fucking women they shed the light on okay and it says here stone over stones that she died because she had walked folly in israel to play the whore in her father's house so should thou put away evil from among you man okay that's how you quench evil by stoning her ass man and these women right here and I don't, I don't even like getting on the women for real. I ain't even talk about the women like that. But, you know, the spirit, like, you know what? We need to talk about this because this is a real spirit. This is a real spirit, man. You know, brothers have left relationships and wives and watched their wives become this. That's a that's a very painful and degrading thing. It makes it seem like the work you've put in was worth nothing. It's just like, what's the point of you even screaming and yelling at this motherfucker for five six seven eight nine ten years when she's just gonna go out and beat this anyway what she was trying to prevent her doing she's just done it anyway which make you question the fact this was already in your heart this is how you already felt i was just basically fighting you for, for trying to be a whore but now you're wrong because now you want to do other things with your life no you're wrong because if this is in your mindset then you're not in the right mindset you know this is not cool at all now these babies are gonna be fathered without men, you know, and they can't go to child support because they don't know who the child's fathers are. So they get depressed, they end up killing themselves, they end up killing the baby. It's just a a, a plethora of, of the degradation. And these women can't be none more than 19, 20, 21. Young women, that should be with men, should be covered up, should be under the guisemanship of a man. But now, shit, they just fuck themselves, man. Be the same ones at 40 years old. I can't find a husband. Well, look at the way you live your life. Come on, man. It's like y'all mad at us because we're starting to have self-worth again. You know, when we didn't have no worth and we was dealing with any whole bag under the fickle tree, you know, hey, you know, y'all was cool with that. But the minute we start having self-worth about what we're not going to deal with, then all of a sudden we the worst piece of shit since pork. How dare you have, uh, uh, how dare you have self-worth and not accept me and my baggage? How dare you not take me in with my baggage I got? The fuck? Shit, we got baggage too, shit. <laughs> you know? But anyway, uh, it's sad, man. It's Rock 26, and I'm gonna start at nine. It says the whoredom of a woman may be known on her haughty looks and her eyelids, okay? All that makeup, that eyeshadow, that lip gloss, the attire of a harlot, you know? Cleavage showing. It's, just, it's, it's a disgrace, man. It says, Thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly. It says, Keep her in, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. This is the result of feminism. This is the result of women's liberation, and it's a destructive habit. Okay? This does not breed families, and this is the reason why a lot of men are not getting in relationships no more because of this. This. You know? You go down to Miami for spring break, what the fuck you think gonna happen? You go to Vegas with a bunch of women. That don't have good character what the hell you think gonna happen like you trying to be the one that's somewhat right they gonna guilt trip you into not playing a whore then before you know it you gonna be out here letting guys fall on you kissing on motherfuckers man all because you wanted to uh you wanted to appease your friends so they don't kick your ass because you're afraid to say something you know my man ain't gonna stand for this why am i even here i'm on the next ticket plane back home instead of you going through the punches because now you got to deal with the bullshit when you fucking get home now and you got to deal with him possibly kicking your ass or fucking kicking you out the house now. Now what? You see? That's why it's not a good thing for women to be around each other like this. Women, honestly speaking, you brothers out there, you supposed to dictate the friends your woman hang out with. If she, you can't find good friends for her, then she don't need to hang out with nobody. She need to just chop it up and be a fucking housewife, man. She'll love it that way. Have fun with you, man. And having fun with you ain't always going to shake y'all ass, man. It's nothing wrong with going out dancing. But you got to question the mindset of a woman that want to go to a club with her boyfriend. Why you want to go to a club with your husband? 
the fuck kind of mindset is that? That's immaturity, man. Well, you do it. Well, men have right to do certain things under certain pretenses. You don't. Okay, and among men that's in the faith, we know how to behave ourselves, man. And we ain't going to no turn-up fest like y'all do. And that's another thing, too, in this faith, man. You women, you always trying to put your fucking... Your child, you try to put your rules on us. Okay? If a, your man go out to a bar with his brother's doing business, whatever, that's his fucking business. I don't give you the right to go out and do the same thing. That man is over you. Men done it all the time in the ancient world. They go to taverns, they have a drink with the brothers, they wives their own. She ain't questioning him. Well, you go to a bar, I'ma go to the bar. No, you're gonna get fucked up if I catch you in one of them places. And that's what y'all don't understand. The sexes are not equal. You see, they're not equal. And if you can't deal with that, then you just don't belong here. It's just that simple. We're not finna compromise to the bullshit, okay? There's certain things that if I have a woman, she there's certain things she can't do. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm out here making particular moves and we, uh, whatever is happening is happening, she need to question on why I made that move in the first place and put it to respect perspective, you know? But regardless of that, we gotta get out of here, man. We gotta get out of here. Um, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. That's the result of it. But watch over an impudent eye. Watch, okay? And marvel not if she trespass against thee. Okay? Because that's exactly what's gonna happen. You know, you go to a bar, you see a signal another fucking man. You know what I'm saying? A man that she probably knew from school or a nigga she probably been sleeping with on the low. And you just right there paying attention to everything. But you in the dark about it because the nigga ain't gonna come up for it. And then you bring it up to her, she's gonna uh, put on a scene. Nigga, you insecure. I ain't doing X, Y, and Z. But check her fucking phone. Walk up on her out the blue and check her phone one day and see what's in there. Then the police gonna get called. You gotta pay attention to shit, man. You gotta be very aware of what's happening around you, man. It's, it sucks, but, you know, this is the world we live in. Okay? It says she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler. Now, look, man. Solomon wasn't lying. He knew women. He studied them. He had a thousand women. He knew that, and none of them hoes was right. Okay, he knew them, and this was thousands of years ago when women were somewhat in order. How much a woman a day? She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he had found a fountain and drink of every water near her. By every head, she would sit down and open her quiver against every arrow, and that's what those women did in uh, Miami. They was fucking how many niggas? You know, ain't no telling how many types of specimens in them, but yet they going back home to the simple ass nigga, Pookie, Ray Ray, Doty, you know? That sit at home and watch BET and Baby Boy all day, watching rap videos, smoking weed, going back to a nigga like that, and you putting your tongue in this bitch's throat, knowing that she just slobbed the whole goddamn club up. See that? See what you gotta deal with as being men? But you look at less than when you don't deal with this shit no more. Nah, man. You know? But it says the grace of a wife delighted her husband and his her discretion will fatten his bones, right? That will make him confident. Because Say if you got a group of hyenas and your woman is among a pack of fucking crows And the fact that they're in places that they shouldn't be She say, nah, I can't be here, I gotta go You know, even if I lose your so-called friendship You was never a friend of me in the first place If you uh, if you oppose me respecting my man If you come against me for for, for, for respecting my man and, and, and not going out with y'all and playing the whore and playing Stella Y'all ain't my friends anyway because you know what I'm saying? You're telling me to totally destroy my situation with my guy. Because he's going to be there. I'm going to be there. You bitches ain't. Because nine times out of ten, we going to fall out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to say something stupid. Jealousy is going to rise. Okay? And, and, and just a shit show. Women are very catty. They don't even like each other. They seek each other's approval just to hate each other later on. It's stupid. It's funny. Men, we don't have that problem. And that's the beautiful thing about being in the truth. You ain't around a bunch of bitch-ass niggas, man. In the world... You had that little envy shit going on, a nigga hate on you because of the type of car you drive. But in the faith, we ain't on that, man. Brothers are all together. We in unison. We ain't hating on each other, man. That's the beauty of it. You know, my brother look good. Hey, that's a beautiful thing. He's doing good in the spirit. That's good. But among you women, you women, you find a marriage and you find a man that you like and that you want to be with, them hoes going to try to destroy it, man. They're going to try to put peer pressure on you. They're going to guilt trip you. Girl, why you sitting up here listening to him? When he just at a bar last week. But why was that man at the bar? Was you supporting him? Was you being his comfort? Was you putting hell on him? Was you talking shit to him? Was you trying to break him down? Was you trying to force your life on him? Was he there to get a drink with his brothers to kind of calm down and talk about some things? Was you around when he needed you? 
Was you being a fucking dragon? Was you slandering him? Was you disrespecting the man? And all that don't mean he got to go to a bar and stuff, but it's just the fact that y'all have to put things in perspective, and you don't. You go off what you see and what you think you hear, and you don't put things in, in perspective. When was he there? Why was he there? Was it when y'all were going through shit? Was it when you was doing this? Or was it when y'all was on good terms and he was coming home to you every night so we'll cook dinner? You gotta ask yourself when. You know? But anyway, I'm in this. I ain't gonna be too much, uh, I ain't gonna be too much longer, man. You know? Um, it says, an exciting and lovely woman is a gift from the Lord. And there's nothing much more worth as a well mind as well instructed, right? She's following after you. You know, she's following after the doctrine. Now, it's true, women don't subscribe to what we teach, you know, because, you know, they feel some type of way about it. But regardless, outside of that, it's just the moral conduct that we have to teach as men. It just, the conduct alone on how our women supposed to behave themselves should be enough for our women to say, you know what, I do want to, you know, walk in this way. Even if I don't fully believe in or understand what you teach, the fact that it do give order and it does create uh, morality and it, and it does put us in a more safer zone. I would rather follow this, you know what I'm saying, and not be bitter about following it and not hating the fact you're following it. You know what I'm saying? And that's just where it ends at, man. You know, but um, this will be rectified in due time. The Lord, how about you now? Shy will come and he will, uh, uh, he will fix this, man. It just sucks now, but uh, regardless of this, this is the book of uh, Sirach 41, and I'm gonna start at verses. Oh, uh, Sirach 42 And I'm going to start at verses uh, 11 It says Keep a sure watch over a shameless daughter Lest she make thee a laughing stock to thy enemies Right They a laughing stock man Period Now to whoever dating them Or the men Now they got to deal with the fact that she has that, that blot on our history Like y'all don't understand how important it is For you to be discreet and for you to not make certain moves, man. Especially if it's a situation that you truly want. You gotta be careful how you move out here. Okay, you gotta be careful because honestly speaking, one fuck up will cost you your entire life. It will cost you everything. That's what y'all don't understand. Now you out here putting yourselves in predicaments that you don't even want to be in. Now you dealing with men that will never measure up to the man you wanted to be with. Basically, he just some dick for when you get upset and when you want to get spiteful. He just some dick on the side now. He just calling you for a late night booty call going back to his baby mama. That's what you that's what you you you, you open yourselves up to because you don't want to serve a man of the Lord. You don't want to serve a man of the Lord. It's to the point you make him want to kick your ass. You make him put hands on your ass. <laughs> you know, not saying that that's always the wisest thing. But you have to understand too that the men of the Lord, man, we're 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 very passionate about what we do. You know? And sometimes you women, you just gotta learn to shut the fuck up. Sometimes you just gotta shut the fuck up, man. Cause men these days they're liable to smack the shit out you. Because honestly speaking, ain't nothing you women are doing are ju is justified. Okay, it's, it's not justified. So it behooves you to just be quiet and humble your spirit. Cause men, to the point, they really want to put you women to death, man. These men are waiting on collapse because they have a lot. They have an itch to scratch with you. Okay, and don't think that it. it, it, it I'm not lying about that. These men, they want blood. They want to get back. Because they felt they felt pushed over and played to the left. They felt fucked over, man. And that Miami shit, that's a prime example. So it just behooves you to just really humble down and, and be cool. It says to keep a sure watch over shameless daughter, lest she make thee a laughing stock to thy enemies and a byword in the city, and a reproach among the people, and make thee ashamed before the multitude, man. And that's the point, man. It's a shameless thing, brothers. But anyway, uh, this is the result of feminism, alright? So anyway, I'm in it there, giving all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about you? How about you? And with that, shalom and a ball.